Let's go! Little Red Tractor, he's king of the fields. Getting his jobs done with Stan at the wheel. He's not the biggest, but he's a hero. Little Red Tractor, let's go! With Sparky and Nipper and Big Blue too, and lots more friends in tow. Little Red Tractor, let's go! I just can't understand it, Stan. The scarecrow seems to keep the birds away, but every morning I come by and still my crops are damaged. Maybe it isn't the birds. No, it's the birds, all right. I think they wait until I'm not looking. I was out with my torch last night, couldn't spot any of them. Last night? The birds don't... Stan! Stan! Are you there? Sounds like Ryan and Amy. Hello. Where are you two off to, then? Mum's taking us to Bubblebrook to see the lights. Already? But the autumn's hardly over. Guess who's turning on the lights? Hmm, now, let me see. Boombox Hammer! Is that a person? Sounds like a toolbox. Oh, Stan, he's the best! Don't you ever listen to the charts? We thought you'd like to come with us. Well, I'm sure, bing, bang... Boombox Hammer! Well, I'm sure Boom What's-His-Name is great, but I have work to do. Thanks for asking, though. OK. We'll try and get you a signed picture. See ya! Bye, Stan! I must be getting old. I don't recognise any of the pop stars these days. You know, Stan, I think I may have just had a brilliant idea. Well, I'll leave you to it, Mr Jones. I have to pick up Little Red Tractor from the garage. Need a lift? No, thank you. The walk will do me good. OK, you pesky crop-eating birds. Ryan and Amy have given me an idea. Hello. Seems a bit quiet. What's a telescope doing here? Stan, how are you? Good. What's with the telescope? Didn't you see it? See what? A UFO. A spaceship? Yeah. There were flashing lights in the sky last night. I saw them clear as day. I think you're going potty. That's funny. That's what Nicola said. Why do you think a spaceship would choose to come to Beach Garage? Maybe they needed petrol. <laughs> <laughs> you, won't, you won't be laughing when I'm in the papers. The first man to photograph a real UFO. Little Red Tractor's all done, and he's running better than ever. Thanks, Nicola. He's round the back. Hey! Very funny, Nicola. Sorry, Dad. You really think your spaceship will be back tonight? If it is, I plan to get a good photograph of it. Thanks, Nicola. Call me if you see anything, Walter. Oh, sure, yeah. Come on, then. Work to do. <laughs> Hi there. I thought you were all in Babblebrook for the lights. It was cancelled, I'm afraid. Boobox Hammer's got a sore throat. So he couldn't make it. And then the mayor tried to turn the lights on, and they didn't work. Oh, you do look down in the dumps. Let's see if I can't think of something to cheer you up. But you're not a pop star, Stan. And you don't have any lights. True, but I may have a surprise up my sleeve. Dear, the bulb must have gone. I'll never find anything in here without any light. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I'm full of bright ideas today. <laughs> right, all we have to do is find those other lights. Ah, here we go. Oh, only one light left. I wonder where the others went. It's getting darker. Oh, well, we'll, um... Hey, hold on. They may have some at the garage. Come on, little red tractor. We'll have to be quick. Walter will be closing soon. Well, that's me all set. You're not really going to sit out here in the cold all night, are you, Dad? I have my flask, Nicola, and my sarnies, and I shall be fine. It's not every day you get to see a UFO. True. Most people never see them at all. Hello. Back so soon? I was hoping you might have some Christmas lights. 
I want to make a surprise for Ryan and Amy. Oh, you won't believe it, Stan. We sold the last lot this afternoon. Oh, dear. I was hoping to get some this evening. Mr Jones bought them. Five boxes. All we had. Five boxes of lights? Whatever for? Search me. He seemed very excited, though. He's back. It's back. What is? The UFO. And you didn't believe me. Potty, you said. Look. See for yourself. How strange. It's a UFO. I knew it. I've never seen anything like it. It seems to be coming from somewhere over by Beach Farm. Wow! You're right! I'm going to investigate. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and see what's going on. Come on, little red tractor. Don't be a scaredy cat. See you later. Oh, get me camera. Oh, oh, the quick! Well, I need to get a photo. Oh, hey! <laughs> now, that's funny. That's exactly what happened last night. Ah! Now, that seems to have done the trick. Are you there, Mr Jones? Back here, Stan, by the gate. This may seem like a silly question, but what are you doing? Told you about the birds eating my crops Well, I came up with a wizard way to stop them. I can't wait to hear. Well, the scarecrow was working fine during the day, but at night, nothing. So, I remember the children talking about the Christmas lights and thought... ..that you'd use the lights to keep the birds off your crops through the night. Precisely. And as you can see, no birds. Mr Jones? Yes? Birds don't come out at night. They sleep. Sleep? Ah, y yes. Okay. Um, they sleep. Of course they sleep, but... but oh, but, but not owls, Stan. They are awake at night eating my crops. Mice. Owls don't eat crops. They eat mice. Uh, so, I am just lighting up my field for no reason. I'm afraid so. Although it does look lovely. Walter at the garage is convinced your light show here is a UFO. What a fool I am. To think I bought five boxes of lights. Not to worry. I'll buy them off you. I'll have a good use for them. It's a deal, Stan. As, um, <clears throat> as long as you don't tell anyone about uh, the birds and the night thing. Hmm? It may be too late for that, Mr. Jones. You've lit up the whole neighborhood. I... No, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. I had a hard job believing it myself. I've never seen a whole field lit up like a Christmas tree before. I'll never forget it. Neither will I. I took 36 pictures of it. <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Hard not to with all those lights in the field, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, we shouldn't laugh. Mr Jones was quite upset when I told him birds sleep through the night. Well, at least they can sleep now. I've told Amy and Ryan to come over later and we'll have a turning-on ceremony and then roasted chestnuts over a real fire. There. All done. Good. Thanks for your help, Walter. Everything is set. Hi, Stan. Wow, look at all the lights. My, you have been busy. We're all ready for the turning-on ceremony. Yeah, switch them on. Actually, we're going to leave that job to our celebrities, Ryan and Amy. All together now? Three, two, one, go! Wow, it looks great! Thanks, Dan. My pleasure. Now, who wants roast chestnuts? Me! Oh, I nearly forgot. I have one more surprise. What is it? Come on, you two. One more little job for our celebrities. Flick this switch here. Who needs Boombox Hammer when we have our own shining star? 